Hello and welcome to The Racers TV once again. Just before we start with our traditional look at the diary for a busy week of racing coming up in South Australia as well, I think it's important at the top of the program we mention the passing of David Coles, one of the great men of South Australian racing, a Hall of Fame inductee. He was inducted in 2003 as associate and certainly racing is poorer with the passing of David Coles. The diary for racing in South Australia for the week on Saturday, we're on the park circuit at Morpherville. On Sunday, it's a big day at Strathalban. It's the 20th Langhorn Creek Vignerons Cup Day. Next Wednesday, we're back to Morpherville. And on Thursday, we go racing at Port Lincoln. Jason Holder with five rides at Morpherville on Saturday. Uh, Jason, firstly, the two-year-old race one. You're riding Bridgie Flyer. It's only a small field and the horse no doubt would have taken some benefit from its uh, race day experience. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, talking to Leon McDonald, he said the horse is going well as well. He improved from the run. So I'm looking forward to riding him, Tess. Speaking about Leon McDonald, there's been some good success for Leon and Andrew in recent weeks. And Gossip Guru has been one of the horses putting together back-to-back -back wins. Yeah, she's been ri racing really well, Tess. The beauty about it, she just stays all day. Um, that's the key that I've learned from her, that she've, uh, if I just give her a nice ride, she'll, if she's good enough, she'll beat him. And the last two starts, she's done that. So we're expecting to be competitive. Again, I rode her track work the other morning, she worked well, so she's racing really well. All right, we then go to Latin Hero in race number six, trained by John O'Connor. Now, this horse went terrible two starts ago. Yeah, he let us all down, Tez. We, we expected him to run really well because his first up run, Todd Panel rode him, he ran third in, at Balaclava, and he ran really well, so we thought he'd be hard to beat, and he just let us all down. Uh, we put it down to the inner track, uh, it, was a, it was a day, it was a leader's bias track. Um, then obviously last day he raced a lot better, he tucked the line beautiful, it was probably one of his better runs, so he needs to put it up again, uh, he doesn't want to let us down again because he disappointed a lot of us, so uh, hopefully he can improve Tess. Alright, you're a bit worried then about the, the Parks track on Saturday with him? I am to be honest, only because of the way it's been racing a bit biased, but um, I thought it played okay on Saturday, so um, you know, um, I suppose everyone wants to lead, so if they, their pace is, the quicker they go the better it is for the backmarkers, isn't it? Race seven, you ride Dancing Politesse. You've been having a good run for David Jolly as well, and you know this mare well, and you're able to win on her on Melbourne Cup Day. Yeah, David Jolly was just a bit concerned because he's got to drop her back a little bit in distance. Uh, I think the further the better she is. Uh, but in saying that, she raced really well last start, and I learned a little bit more about her last start. I kept her momentum, I went out wide, and she really attacked the line beautiful. Um, and she wanted to win the other day, so she's a nice horse, and she's one to keep your eye on. All right, and in the last, you ride Stravinsky code for John Hyam. I guess disappointed by the barrier, you've drawn 12 of 12. Yeah. Yeah, it says, but uh, in saying that, John Himes said the other day, it's, it, this horse is coming into form. Uh, he reckons he's needed his last probably four starts, so um, expect him to run a cheeky race. All right, what do you think might be your best ride on Saturday? Oh, obviously the two-year-old, it's, it's got to be a nice race for it, um, and Dancing Power Test. I, I like those two horses, they've been racing really well, and obviously uh, uh, Gossip Guru as well, so um, I've got some nice rides. Thank you to Jason Holder. OK, let's have a look at uh, two of the races on the weekend. Firstly, at Morpherville on Saturday, race number seven is the feature race, the Paraquad SA Handicap. This is the Spring Series final for the fillies and mares. The weight's headed up, as you can see, by Kate Stream and Patiche. They're two of the better chances. Dancing Poetess for Jason Holder. And then on Sunday, the 20th anniversary of Langhorn Creek Vignerons Cup Day. The Cup is the feature race, obviously, over 1,350 metres. It's a great family day. Why not get along? Spread out the picnic rugs. Great food and wine on offer. Should be a marvellous day there at Strathalban on Sunday. We'll see you again next week for The Races TV. There's nothing like a day at the races.